I heard someone cry to God. I heard someone cry to God, asking, why am I still like this? Hallelujah, glory to God. Welcome to Purpose and Marita Bliss with Pastor Honoring. I have a prophetic word for someone. Someone is crying to God bitterly, asking God, why am I still like this? And this word is coming to us from the book of Genesis chapter 25, verses 20 to 21. And the Bible says, And Isaac was 40 years old when he married Rebekah, daughter of Bethuel the Aramean from, ba from Padan Aram, and sister of Laban the Aramean. Isaac prayed to the Lord on behalf of his wife because she was barren. She was childless. The Lord answered his prayer and his wife, Rebecca, became pregnant. Hallelujah. I want to start by establishing the fact that God had promised Abraham that his children will be as many as the stars of the sky. His descendants, sorry, will be as many as the stars of the sky and as the sun or as the seashore. And then God went ahead to instruct him to obey Rebe um, Sarah, to obey Sarah and send away Ishmael, meaning the descendants were supposed to come through Isaac. And then this is Isaac married. God married at the age of 40 and at the age of 60. That's when he had to pray this prayer. Rebecca was barren for 20 years. And God sent me here because there's someone crying out like Rebecca was. Probably say, why am I still single? God said, my descendants will be many. There was a prophetic verdict over my life. There was a prophetic promise over my husband's life. How can Rebecca be barren when God had promised that, that they will have descendants and the descendants will be many? How can Rebecca be barren? Why am I still barren? Someone is asking God, why am I still single? Why am I still barren? Why am I still unproductive? Why am I still broke? Why am I still indebted? Why am I still in this state, in this beggarly state? Why am I still sick? God sent me here today for someone who is crying out to God because God gave a promise and you are present reality is the direct opposite of the promise. I would think that if God, and then it's not like mm, no, Isaac did not marry out of the will of God. Because it's easy to say yes, it, it had to happen because Isaac married a woman that was not the will of God for him. So this had to happen to him. Isaac never married out of God's will. As a matter of fact, Abraham sent his servant and ensured that his God goes with him. And the servant also prayed. And Abraham gave specific instructions as to the kind of wife. And the, ma and the servant prayed that God would lead him to the right woman. And everything happened as he had prayed. He even prayed for confirmation. So Rebecca was God's will for Isaac. Why is she barren? God said he was making you a financial giant. Why are you still indebted and broke? God said your marriage will be a model marriage, a blissful marriage in the kingdom, a model kingdom marriage. God gave you a marriage ministry and said your marriage will be an example. Why are you still single? Why is your marriage in trouble? God promised you and said you were going to preach the gospel or you were going to do this and that. You were going to build this and that. You had this. God gave you this vision. Why are you still afflicted? I came to for someone who is crying to God because their present reality is, is contrary to what God had promised them. I came today for someone who is crying to God because what they are going through is the opposite of what God promised them. And someone is saying, why is my life still like this? Why am I still stagnated? At the beginning of the year, God told you this was a year for rapid increase. This was the year for you, for you to see favor. Why are you still struggling and you are not seeing any glimpse of favor. Everything that you've ever earned is by labor. And sometimes you, you, you labor and you are not even paid for it. 
Why is life still this hard for you? The good news is, Isaac understood that if the will of God is for us to have descendants, then as I pray for my wife, she is going to be pregnant and it gets better because he prayed. And that's very verse that, I, I, that Isaac prayed for his wife. The wife became pregnant. I came here to join my faith with you and pray for you. I don't know the aspect of your life that God promised, but you, have, you find yourself barren in. I don't know the aspect of your life that is seemingly barren, but I came here to pray for you. The promise of God over your life is manifesting speedily in the name of Jesus. Before this month comes to an end, before this month comes to an end, before this month comes to an end, Allah zikaba yarabara sihanda balaru shaka li zukaba rasiana. In the next 21 days, in the next 21 days, you are carrying your pregnancy in the name of Jesus. You are meeting your kingdom spouse in the name of Jesus. You are receiving a financial breakthrough in the name of Jesus. That job that God promised you in the next 21 days you are receiving a life changing phone call I just heard, heard the Holy Spirit tell me that someone you are receiving a life changing phone call in the next 21 days and 21 this is not a this is a timely word for someone 21 is 7 times 3 and 7 talks about perfection and 3 talks about divinity in the next 21 days divinity is perfecting your life divinity is perfecting your life in the next 21 days kala ziana barusha kaliara sobranda liana mana karaswana balarusha why are you still broke in the next 21 days, you are receiving a financial open door in the name of Jesus. God said you were going to be a financial giant. Why are you still broke? In the next 21 days, God is delivering you out of debt in the name of Jesus. Financial doors are opening before you in the name of Jesus. Why are you still sick? God promised you healing. He said by his stripes you were healed. In the next 21 days, you are healed. Healing will be miraculous in the name of Jesus. In the next 21 days, God says, why are you still single? In the next 21 days, you are meeting your kingdom spouse. Someone you are about to meet your kingdom spouse. Hey, the light of God will shine on you in the right quarters. The light of God is shining upon you in the right quarters. In the right quarters, your kingdom spouse is somewhere. It's just that light has not shone on you in their presence. But the light of God will shine on you just where they are. Your destiny help is, is, is about to identify you. Your destiny helper is about to see you. Your, your, your kingdom spouse is about to notice you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every unproductivity in your life it ends today in the name of Jesus. The Bible tells us in the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 28 after, immediately after God created the man and the woman. The, the man the man, he, he created him male and female. That's what 20, verse 27 tells us. But immediately he created verse 28, said God bless them. God bless them. And God commanded them to be fruitful. Why are you barren? God blessed you. To bless means the power to succeed conferred on you. Why are you failing? Why are you not succeeding? Why are you not successful in what you are doing? God says I should join my faith with you. Whatsoever is working contrary to the will of God in your life. I decree today it ends in the name of Jesus. There is a drastic turnaround in the name of Jesus. The next 21 days are decreed. Your days of turnaround. 21 days of turnaround in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Just thank God. Just thank God for what he's about to do. And if you feel led by the Spirit to connect to this word, or you feel like this word was meant for you, like this word was meant for you, and you want to connect to the word, please just check the description box, or maybe you have an offering, whatever. If only you feel led, check the description box. You see the cash app, the PayPal, the mobile money there, or you can just hit on the super thanks, and the Lord will bless you. That barrenness. 
has to go. That unproductivity, unfruitfulness has to go. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are becoming all that God said you'll be. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you. Shalom.